Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back uh, to another video on Undecember. All right, so today we made a little changes to our build. Uh, I noticed I was going through like tier tens and juice, like fully juice nines last night, and I was getting one shot. I was I was literally just falling over like a fucking piece of paper and a, and a furnace or something. I don't know, man. They're getting lit up. So we went ahead and changed some things in the build. I just want to go over that real quick. We still we still are pumping. We're still doing DPS. Uh, but we did lose some damage, not that much. We did we dropped the damage nodes uh, around the tree here. Um, the changes we made. Uh, this is what I did personally. You don't have to do this to get more tanky, but you could do something similar. I'll show you. Uh, so I have armor. I don't have that much armor, but I have enough to where ten percent will benefit me. So I went through the armor tree. Uh, I would have preferred dodge here because I have more dodge at the moment. Um, so yeah, elemental resist into physical dampening. Uh, and then the other change I made to the build now it, okay if you don't have armor and you're just pure dodge you can go up to this tree uh, top right and get the two uh, HP nodes into the physical dampening that's equivalent you know same three points um, and then to get more uh, so you don't get one shot for projectiles I, I took the other two dampenings um, yeah so I mean I just dude I was just getting I was just getting laid out like actually just laid out so let's go over the build real quick uh first tree take everything uh second tree is just the basic damage top um the third tree we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom here uh it's still still needing that mana gotta gotta get that mana you're going to oom right uh the fourth tree is just the same thing uh we did drop the attack speed here um that way i could fit in the uh you know defenses and not get one shot and tier nines fully juiced um and then tree five is just going to be you know i'm dodge predominant so we're going through the dodge here uh if you're armor predominant go through the armor obviously uh yeah um tier six where are we at tier six you just as usual just take the whole tree ain't nothing wrong with that tree uh tier seven this is the tree that changed i did drop the nine percent damage here um but we kept everything else i thought about dropping the elite damage and this uh because we just we smoke elites as it is so i don't know i feel like i feel like being more tanky might be better i don't know we'll find out uh i haven't i haven't played around with that yet i did take the nine percent damage here as i had an extra point um and then as i showed you before i went into the physical dampening tree <coughs> and then uh let's move over to seven I'm sorry, eight. Eight, you just, you know, you always take this in the crit build. You're, you're always going to, never not going to take that. Um, and then here's the other one. We got two 2% two nodes. So we got 4% dampening off this node. Um, that's the other change. I took it out of these uh, nine nodes here. And then uh, this, this is going to be the same. I thought about, uh, um, not this one see yeah i thought about trying this uh but it's just like amplification is just too powerful like the math i did in my head this is just, this is just uh, like it's just too much if you want to test it you can go ahead uh but yeah that's not what i do uh obviously we get punishment berserker um but yeah that's that's pretty much uh the changes the dampening changes so like if you go to my character uh where is it defenses so we we did lose some resist I'll, sh I'll show you why in a sec um so yeah physical dampen uh damage taken right here 6.8 percent that's a lot it keeps me it keeps me from not getting one shot so the changes i made in my build uh because we were running out of mana unfortunately i didn't get the the good authority here uh you want either all potions or mana pot here um or you know yeah pretty much all potions is the best one uh negative four mana cost is the re like the main thing you want on your belt uh triple resist negative four mana cost and then whatever else you can get you know what i mean uh that's ideal uh maybe you know maybe double resist hp mana i don't know whatever as long as you get the mana cost uh i think i've showed you the chest uh the helmet um 
we didn't get the authority that we wanted. We did get the critical damage, and we did get the strength with um, and the 10 HP. So, I mean, this is a pretty decent helmet. Unfortunately, it got low uh, resist on it, so that's why our resists are so low. Uh, I have not re-rolled my necklace. I actually got a new pair of boots um, that I've been trying to play with. These these don't have the negative 10% uh, to skill movement cooldown on them, but uh, they have negative 7 mana cost, which is what we need for our build. You have to have that. Um, that way you can do boss fights, raids, etc. And not go oom and not worry about it. And you can do um, mana reduction maps. Uh, yeah. And I'll tell you what. Like 90% of the maps I ID are mana reduction maps. So you're going to need that mana reduce. Uh, I will go ahead. I have a spreadsheet. Um, I'm not sure where it came from. I can't remember. Dude, I played. I, I, I'm so, I like... I don't know. Anyways, I got a spreadsheet that I got from somewhere, and it shows all the authorities and what possibilities and what pieces they go on, etc., etc., etc. So I'll be uh, linking that in the description below if you guys want to check that out. It's very helpful when you're crafting and uh, trying to find, you know, uh, when you go up here to your essence shop, is it chaos stones? Yeah, so like, um, for one, you should be buying these boxes every day right here. So like, you get. A random chaos stone like you get one of these out of it right but um yeah so like these stones pretty much you put them in your statue and you can guarantee authority right so like you put a map in you add a, add a stone and it guarantees authority to that map so uh you can go about it that way uh but yeah you should be buying that every day you should literally buy anything that has a daily limit every day, um, except the ore stuff. Like the ore stuff, you I don't expect you to be able to buy that every day. All right, let me show you a map real quick. I just do. Uh... I don't know. All these maps suck. Let's do this one. Uh, Elemental resist chaos, mana amp. All right, so here's a mana amp map. This 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 might be uh, good to show you. So even even missing the uh, seven percent on my boots, I'm also uh, I'm also missing shoulders. You get four percent mana dampening on your shoulders, and I'm missing that. Uh, that would be helpful a lot. Ooh, we're, we're 90, 90. 5. <coughs> So ideally, you want mana dampening on your shoulders, your gloves, your boots, uh, and your belt. Uh, and that'll fix your mana issues and your oom um issues. And then, you know, if you're in a higher tiers, uh, you know, anything past like tier seven and you're juicing the maps, you're probably going to want to drop some damage and get some tankiness. That way you don't get one shot by the mobs. Uh, that was, uh, it's just really annoying to get off screened by a shotgun barrage of multi projectiles that cover your whole screen. You got no, no escape, nowhere to run. And then one of them hits you and you just fall over. So that was really annoying. So we, we went ahead and grabbed some dampening. Uh, let's hop into this map and see what's, see what's good. Show you that a lot of people, I'm, my bad uh, about the other build videos where I didn't show uh gameplay. Like I didn't think about it. I was tired, you know, 16 hour days, um, of talking to people playing game and uh you know eating like a streamer you know granola bar every five hours or something maybe like some crackers here and there you know we we, we we lose our minds sometimes and like uh you know so we don't fully think about things um as we should and uh you know i just forgot to add that into the video my bad but yeah so i'm making sure i get this new uh new build in here so you guys can just see like the damage isn't that reduced uh it's like two three hundred k i mean it, it's actually a lot of damage reduced but it's not it's not enough to where you can't do your juice maps and level up and be fine it's just more of a comfort thing it's just like after you know if you play like more than eight hours a day it gets really obnoxious to get one shot like eight times uh by some off-screen bs like that arrow that just flew by us, if that would have hit us before I took dampening, we'd probably have died, right? You know what I mean? So like, it's just it's just really frustrating. So we we went ahead and respect and got the dampening, and it seems to be helping a lot. Um, now, if you are full armor, if you're already full armor, and that guy smashed us, huh? Uh, if you already are full armor, 
uh, you might not need the dampening because uh, you, you know you're full armor and you have mitigation. But uh, you know I don't expect you to have full armor um, because I don't. And I look every day for you know chests that are similar to this one except armor. Uh, I wish this was armor. Ideally, like you know, I wish this was just like a, a seventeen hundred plus armor with three attack and then whatever else i don't care and then these are going to be dodge uh dodge armor when i get i dude i've still not found four percent mana amp shoulder so if you find those i'd put them in the auction house for like 2k because i haven't seen a pair on there that are four percent that are dodge armor so like i would definitely sell those you know what i mean but yeah um i'm oh, grave robber but yeah, as you can see, like I can take hits now, and it's not it's not as like, you know, threatening. Like I I'm not as like on the alert and like you know what I mean. You don't have to like pay attention as much. Uh, oh, we got a, a portal. Cool. So yeah, I just you know I just wanted to showcase the the new changes to the build, and uh, you know again I'm sorry I didn't show uh, gameplay from uh, the previous video. I had a couple comments. You know complaining about no gameplay footage and i just forgot i was like i said i was just really tired and uh you know my mind's been baked from playing this game uh too much so yeah uh i don't know hopefully this video helped you guys uh you know if you're dying a lot etc cetera, etc cetera, maybe that maybe that little change will help you guys not die as much um and if it doesn't help you let me know in the comments and uh i don't know maybe we can talk about it and figure figure something else out but, um, you know, until I get full armor or uh, I'm probably going full dodge, let's be honest. Like once, once I get enough, like this gear, that's just all dodge. We're probably just going to go pure dodge. Cause like, that's what all the, it seems like all the Koreans are going dodge. I don't know. Maybe it's something about, but, uh, I, I feel like the armor path was just better at the time because, um, like, dude, if you miss a dodge, you die. Right. But if you have armor, and you get hit it you know it mitigates the damage so i mean maybe later stage in the game like where the koreans are uh you know dodge might be better but for now i feel like armor is better so i just i just wish the mana dampening stuff was on um on pure armor but unfortunately it's not so uh you gotta you gotta play around with your gear and and get the best defenses and etc cetera, etc cetera. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, the clear time's not that bad on a juice map. Uh, it's a tier 8. Uh, it's got three juice in it. It's got three energy in it. So this is giving 100% XP and 100% uh, <coughs> statue XP and player XP. And you also get extra XP from the red packs. I'm not fully juicing the maps right now. Uh, depends on the map and what I'm doing. But normally I don't fully juice because you'll run out of energy you don't have enough energy and or cards to just like constantly fully juice your maps um so i would not recommend fully juicing your maps i would just i would just uh you know get up to 87 the reason i say 87 is because level 87 in the chaos dungeons when you can start getting legendary drops uh for the essences so like uh or not the essence the the upgrade skill runes you can get the legendary from 87 plus so i suggest you always juice your maps up to 87 and uh that's it you don't really have to do some more than that unless you're trying to get base gear uh you know if you're trying to get base gear then obviously you got to juice it up to 91 92 i i prefer 92 that way most of the elites drop the uh goodies as well but um yeah if you know if you don't want to Yeah, see, like, in in the prior build, that would have killed us, like, easily. One shot me. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, we just, it pretty much prevents one shots, and, like, you don't have to pay attention and, like, you know, drain your energy in real life, your brain, by, like, constantly having to do mechanics every single high-tier map that you run. You know what I mean? It's just it's just like a peace of mind it helps it helps like relax while you're playing it doesn't like burn you out stress you out um so yeah 
Uh, also, yo, thanks, Wizard. Uh, one of my viewers last night, he, he got really annoyed that I only had one alchemy slot, so he went ahead and donated us uh, the money to buy more alchemy slots. Really appreciate that, man. It helps a lot, dude, because... You know, without that, I wouldn't have been. I, you know, I wouldn't be able to afford that uh, myself. Um, so, you know, appreciate that, dude. Uh, shout out to you. Thanks a lot. And uh, you know, everybody else, if if you, if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, share it with everybody. Share it with your friends. If you got friends who play, uh, share it with them. I don't know. But yeah, you guys have a good day, and I hope this helped you guys. Uh, and take care.